Hello everybody, it's Random Terry here again and I'm bringing you a Dollar Tree haul. It's been a day, been a minute, hasn't it? Been a while, but I found myself wandering through a Dollar Tree today because I went in there for one item and one item only. And without further ado, I'm gonna get into it and show you what I went in there for. I went in there for a large foam dice because I was trying to make a game for a Christmas party for a gift exchange where you roll the dice and you either pass stuff to the left, you keep your gift, or you steal somebody else's, and it depends on what number comes up, and I just wanted one dice. I was actually going in looking for the pair, but I did not find it. Um, but another lady was in the toy aisle with me, and she was asking me if I know where the dice were. And I said, funny, I was looking for the same thing. And I said, doesn't seem like they had it today. Whatever. She moved down a little ways and she found one pack of the two blocks just as I was looking down and I found this one, one dice. Um, and it is a roll and let the dice decide what my act of kindness will be today. Buy local, pay it forward, volunteer, donate food, give a compliment or pick up litter. So you could use this and those words I'm going to be painting over just so I can make it into a regular dice. So without further ado, I'm going to get into what else I bought and I'm going to start with some food items. Um, one item was this Jolly Time yellow popcorn. It's like a 20 ounce bag. I don't know if that was a good price or not, but I bought it because I needed it and it was in front of me. So I picked it up. Another item that I bought was some kosher salt. And I bought it because it is coarse and I put it in my little grinder. Um, they also had one that same size, looked like the same, and it said just coarse salt. But when I looked at it, it looked about the same. So I bought the kosher salt instead um, because it's good when you uh, cook certain things like prime rib. And lo and behold, it is salt, the ingredients. Imagine that. And I'm going to finish up with some food stuff here because that's what I went in and I first saw what grabbed my eye was some Bruce's yams. I like yams. I like these. This is what my oh, real Southern style. Um, this is what my parents used to open up cans, put them in a thing, warm them up. And that's what we'd have with Thanksgiving. And I thought a little nostalgia. I will eat some canned yams. If nobody else eats them with me, I will eat them. Oh, along with the, um, I like jellied. And I like the whole berry cranberry, but this is a nice little can. You ever buy a can of stuff if you like the cranberry and you buy it and then you have it left over and nobody else eats it but you? Um, so I thought the small can be awful convenient. Eight ounce. Less to throw away when the time comes. And then moving along on that Thanksgiving thing, I found some joyful foods. 100% pure pumpkin. That's all that's in there. And on the back... Oh, yeah, it does say product of China. Well, didn't read the back. But ingredients is pumpkin. So, um, darn. Uh, food stuff from China, huh? Um, I don't know how to think about that, but 100% pure pumpkin. Might make you muffins or pumpkin pie or something. And, uh, I don't know. Give it away. Um, and then we have, I kind of like these here, dehydrated hash browns. And I remember these being good, but I thought uh, if I make a recipe that uses hash browns, I can hydrate these. I think I have one more in the cabinet, the cupboard. And um, it's good through next year. So I can use those in a, green, in, in a recipe where you have to have the hash browns and you don't have them. You're putting a bunch of other ingredients in there. You don't really probably taste the hash browns as much as you taste the other ingredients. So, um, And then another thing, which I don't know if I have in my um, cabinet, which I saw and I kind of had a hankering for some black beans. Goya. Yay. Um, and then moving along, I really, some of these things, I don't know why I picked up, but I bought some bears. Um, the gold bears and they this one is the 100th anniversary package and they supposedly have like little party hats in them too that one and then these are the sweet and sour which look a little bit sugar coated or maybe it's sour coated um, and I just thought I would try those because I had some at work the other day and they tasted pretty good and I 
thought I would get some. So, and then another thing I'm going to try here. Let's see where this is from. Texas. Product of Holland. Okay. Uh, packed in U.S. So, Golden Farms uh, Crispy Onions. And they had a bunch of these. And I'm guessing because uh, Thanksgiving is coming up. And it does have the Golden Farms Green Bean Casserole recipe on the back. So, I'm guessing that is why they had a large stock of those. Um, and then I wandered through and we, I did need some bread. And I saw they had some sourdough bread at my store. And this actually... It smells awesome and it feels pretty soft. So I thought I'd get some sourdough bread, some sandwiches and such. And then a few items here that I got for my husband's lunch. I know I shouldn't be buying him a bunch of sweets, but some Oreo cookies. At least they're portion controlled because they only have two cookies in each. And then I'll be last for one lunch, huh? And then the cheese it snacks snaps. And that's one serving in there, so. And then something else that looked really good, and I don't know about the caramel, but the cinnamon apple chips looked pretty good. So they'll be for his lunch too, and the serving is one bag. And I thought these would be a little bit healthier for him. We shall see. So um, caramel kind of almost want to try myself. And then I snuck up and I did need some more of the parchment paper, so I bought a roll of that. And that has 20 square feet in it. And I use that a lot when I actually bake my bacon in the oven. And I line the bottom of my stoneware bar pan with the parchment paper. And then after it co cooks and I let it cool down, I kind of take it over next to the garbage can and I just take the parchment paper up. And actually I throw the paper towel that I drain the bacon on on it to kind of sop it up a little bit and then just put it in the garbage after I take whatever I want for my bacon grease container piggy. I have a little piggy. Um, and then I was in need of some snack bags and this was a bonus thing so you get 29 bags instead of 22. And I didn't realize I needed those until I saw them and I was like, yes, I did need those. I didn't have my list or anything. I forgot I needed them. So I bought those. And then also these are the snack bags, but they are the portion packs. There we go. Portion pack. And these, I believe, are um, like tall and thin and they're measurements. And I buy another brand and I kind of, they were snack bags and I forgot to really look at it when I put it on my order. Um, and those long ones came and I didn't know how I felt about them, but my husband likes pickled asparagus spears and he likes them in his lunch. And these are like longer, thin bags. And I put his uh, asparagus in those and and sometimes I bag them up for a couple days ahead. Works out really good, really good. And then let me see where we go from here. Okay, do some flat things. I bought some plastic table covers. These come in handy, and I don't think I had any red. And I um, bought two back two packs of these because sometimes they're good to have on hand. And I thought Christmas is coming up, and red might come in handy for anything. Usually, I put it out on the island if I'm crafting or if sudden, you know, kind of like having people over. And it's a last minute thought, like Super Bowl Sunday once. People were coming over and I was like, oh, let me put out a tablecloth and I reached into my buffet and I, have, I keep them on hand. Very handy. I use them. And then the first aisle I came down, I was happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, tissue paper, gift tissue. And I thought that craft paper one looked pretty, I'm sorry about the glare, was really pretty on it. And this has 14 sheets and it's kind of coordinated. And I got this and then I picked up another one that had 10 sheets in it. Um, and then I thought, well, I'd rather go with the 14. So I put the 10 back. I was going to get one 10 sheet package, but because it was cute. But then I found some 16 sheet packages. So I kept the 14 sheet because I liked it. I put the 10 back. Are you following me? Because um, I'm not following myself. And then I got the 16 sheet gift tissues. 
which is better. And I wound up buying three of these because who doesn't need tissue paper? And in the course of like going into um, February or St. Patrick's Day, you got the red, you got the green. If you don't like use it for Christmas. So there's that one, which is really pretty. Then we've got something else, which is really pretty too. You got the red and the green. You got the, the leaves, which could be like for January. I could use those for January without being too Christmassy. And then Merry Christmas, I think is that's what that red and white one says, Merry Christmas on it. And that's pretty. And then the one that caught my eye the most are the red trucks with the trees in them and the red and the green solids again. That plaid could be used for other days. So those are some of the flat items. And then moving along again here. Um, like I said, I was going in for a Christmas craft item or for some craft with that die because I'm going to paint that. And then I got some of these stickers because I wanted to make like a cheat sheet and put it on poster board, which the poster board, I got black poster board from Dollar Tree also a while back. Um, and I thought I'd put these stickers around the outside of it. Print off the cheat sheet and then put these around, put it on the black, which is larger, and then put these around it. And then have our little um, die to roll. And I also thought these were kind of pretty. Um, and I know they're kind of, they're just felt stickers and they look like white poinsettias with, or snowflakes, whatever. Um, I put a, put things on, a shelf. I put a shelf on over my washer and dryer and I think I got too wide of a shelving wood piece to finish. And so when I open up my washer, it's not a front load, it's a top load. Um, the lid hits the shelf. And it doesn't close, it's fine, but it hits it. So right now I have some felt sunflowers stuck right on the edge of the shelf, so it kind of pads it. And I think I might take these, especially if that plastic doesn't, I don't know if those plastic things are gonna hurt it, but the felt things at least enough, and they're stickies. I might put them on with command hooks and stick them up there for uh, the winter. And so it acts as like a little bumper. So, um, that's one thing with craft. And then I bought, I couldn't find these in red, but I got black. And I'm going to put some cricket, something cricket with Christmas in it. And then I found some bamboo utensils that I'm going to probably put in there, put a ribbon around it, and might make a nice little gift for somebody. And these are bamboo. So, yeah. And I like these. They didn't have the red ones with the pocket at my store, but I saw the black. And I think I have some like zebra print or some, um, what's this? This kind of print. This has other animal prints, um, iron on. So I will put some, maybe cut little trees out and then put Merry Christmas in white or something and put the trees in zebra print. It doesn't have to be traditional um, red and green. Oh, I like traditional red and green. But, and these, yes, bamboo spoon, spoon. it's a bamboo spoon. And a bamboo turner. And my son actually said, he says, don't I have a square one? He says, that's really good for moving stuff around in the um, pan. I forget what he was making for me. Eggs. He was doing eggs. And he says, the flat one. So I got those to go to slide in that pocket. And I don't know what I'm going to put in there otherwise, too. And then I thought these were really pretty fun. Just some pretty... Um, Foil looking paper straws for Christmas. Just thought those were fun, especially for kids. I don't know what I'm actually going to do with them or not. Um, and then, and then, and then, oh, here's something too that I found. I, I don't usually buy a lot of stickers, but these crossed my path. And anybody who knows me knows I like sunflowers. So I bought these really pretty, and I'm sorry about the glare again, but really pretty. I don't know about these things, but they'd be pretty as a scene. But I really like those sunflower stickers. So I bought those. And then I thought, actually, now thinking, these. I found one package of these. These are iron-on transfers. 
and they are for fabric. Use on cotton or cotton mixture fabrics. Ooh, yeah, okay. So, and it shows you, gives you the directions of how to do that, but aren't these pretty? They're gold floral, and I thought, wouldn't that be pretty on a black t-shirt or on this? And that would make a nice, pretty gift. It wouldn't have to be Christmas, but I bought two of these, so I don't know what I'll do with them. So um, I just th thought that was pretty for a dollar twenty-five. I was going to say a dollar. That's how long it's been. Um, so let's see. Crap. I'm going to look right now to see if these are. Oh, these are polyester. Use cotton or cotton mixture fabrics. I mean, if I took a cotton ball and rubbed over it with that. Mix in and be a cotton mixture. No? Hmm. Didn't think so. Sorry. I keep looking here because that's where my face is, but the lens is over there. Um, so we'll see what I do with those. Maybe it will be a t-shirt. And then I found something really pretty, which is probably going to be gifted. Um, but it was just cute. It's a holiday cooking book. And it's not, not real thick, but sweet potato casserole, roast beef, winter salad. Um, it tells you the uh, measurements. Uh, what do they call those? Equivalents, measure equivalents, liquid and dry. Um, and it's got some pretty, pretty pictures. Even if it's not glossy, they still have some really pretty pictures. And I am getting hungry because I think I've only had a cookie today. Two cookies. I'll admit, I had two. Leg of lamb with rosemary, filet mignon with mushroom sauce. They sound really good. And ham. Oh my gosh, ham. And just, it's a pretty book. And it's pretty nice to gift. And if you know a cook, come on. Wouldn't that be pretty all tied together with a string and some pretty little saying on this? Just giving you ideas. So there is that. And then let me see. And another thing, I only found one of these and I put the grab on it, but I think it's really cute. It's a like a jar, a mason jar lid. And I just thought it would be kind of pretty if you ever wanted to like fancy up a mason jar somehow, um, like a pretty painting on the outside of it. You can get like the uh, multi-surface craft paints at Walmart, like the, uh, I say acrylics, but they come in those little bottles and you can like bake them in the oven and they will stay on glass. You can paint on glass with them. Um, but Make a nice pretty painting on the outside and then put some fairy lights in and then put that on top of it or a little tea light, battery operated tea light as a little gift also. I just think that would be awesome. There's many things you can do and I only found one of these. They did have the lids with like the wire across it so you can put flowers in it like a, not like a frog, like a flower frog, but a kind of similar to kind of keep the flowers from tossing over. That would be pretty for somebody that has a garden put one of those on there, get something, put a nice little um, gift in the jar, maybe some flower seeds, um, get the one for the, um, that you can put flowers in, oh, mm. flower seeds in the jar, maybe some little fertilizer sticks or something, Put it on there, attach the flower frog to it with a nice pretty ribbon and a little card that says, you know, here's some flowers and when they grow, you can change the lid and use the jar as a vase. Um, I think that's actually a cute idea, which I just came up with. Oh, oh here's some more felt stickers. I found these too. Those are pretty with the ornaments. And I thought maybe Christmas, I'll put these on and then I'll switch out to the star ones for winter in my laundry room. No, I don't like sunflowers, do I? Okay, moving along. Um, when Christmas comes, I think I have enough paper and I kind of walk right past the wrapping paper because I have a lot and I didn't even want to look at it because, uh, yeah, I have to use up what I have first. My nails are starting to wear off. Okay, and I just thought these were really cute. They look almost like salt dough ornaments, like dough ornaments. For cookies and they almost feel kind of no, I guess it's plasticky but I thought these would make really cute tie-ons for Christmas bags and stuff and I thought the gnome was really cute I might put something on his hat I don't know 
just to spruce him up a little bit if I want to, or a pom-pom on his, because I might have little white pom-poms on his um, top there. But I thought these were cute. They come in a two-pack. And I think they had one that has Santa, which I didn't particularly like that. Um, but And then a little penguin, which I, I thought these looked cuter for some reason. I thought these, I don't know. For those of you who like Chris, or Santa Claus, okay. Not that I don't like them. Pardon me. Okay, and then moving along, I kind of, I'm starting to part my hair in the middle now, and I don't know if it is in the middle. Um, but I need a comb to kind of help notice a the theme. Yeah, you do. And then I was thinking today, if I had like a scarf that matched my shirt with the animal print on it, Yes, I'm feeling very blessed today. God got me out and I was able to walk around the store, of course, with my walker, with my rolling walker, of the what I call the shopping carts. Um, so I've got that comb because I don't really, I might have a comb if I can go dig it out, but I thought that was pretty. So, and then I found this scarf, which I probably would have worn today with my earrings. Hmm. Um, that I thought was kind of pretty and that's like a sheer one and then I looked over to the side a little bit and then as winter comes on I found one that's a fleece and I have like a black and white plaid one or black and white check buffalo check that I use cheap Dollar Tree scarf that I use a lot and I'm kind of getting tired of it I'm not tired of it I like it but you know you use it um, and they are warm. And this one, I just thought I'd get go for an animal print. I don't know why. I'm into this. I'm not usually an animal print kind of girl, but kind of getting that way. Okay. And then I am going to see about doing some, um, a little craft thing, a little craft. I found another YouTube where you make little Christmas trees and I got some red or not some red some gold and silver cord and I bought these they're cute let's see where's my scissors to I'm going to open this up to show you but there's two little containers in there with the little lids and I thought I'd put the silver in one and the gold in the other and hopefully snap these on and put a hole in the middle to pull it out and lay the uh, spool on its side so all I have to do is pull it out cut it off because um, I don't know if I'm going to have people over for that. Hopefully I will. I kind of deleted the event by mistake, but you know, whatever. Um, so I thought that would be fun, and I thought this is kind of cool. Brush cut trees. I like the trees. So, oh, and I didn't notice that that had trees on it, too. Here's a theme. Okay. I know, it's kind of getting worn out, but... So that's for that day, and then um, I also bought for the little um, ornaments and baubles and stuff. I thought, you know, if I throw a red cover on my island, I can put one of these plastic tree things down and we can put the little baubles in it so everybody can get to it. And that's sitting on a red thing. And then the scissors and stuff sitting in here on the red, it would make it kind of a festive little. And I'm gonna leave that in there just so it doesn't get scratched. That'll be like a little festive little color coordinated project um and then I went and I saw these and I thought these were adorable there's this one that says joy to the world which I love that and then I think there was another one I think the truck was on this side or something and it said merry and bright but I kind of like this one I like the buffalo check thing the only thing is when you do find it I found one that wasn't too too bad you can see a little bit of the glue down there and then sometimes the corners weren't like lined up real well. Like this one's a little bit off. If you can see, yeah, with the light behind it, you can see that's not, but it's uh, one of the better ones and I can see a little bit of glue. Some of them really had glue on it, but I think that's cool because that's kind of like a 3D. If you wanted to keep it like this, you can. If not, you can paint it and you can put your own Cricut cutout in there to say whatever you want or a picture or um, whatever. I just thought these were kind of cool. The back is like that. It's got the hanger. 
you can pull off the um, it's a, there's no hole through the front so there's no hole to fill if you want to take that hanger off or if you wanted to turn it so it hung like this if you had a little you know how you have those signs at your front door that say welcome and stuff well if you have an office or something and you wanted to put this on it and you can put the welcome that way on it instead of like a big thing you can hang that on your door um, and with that, um, I also saw a big display of, um, like the removable hooks that you stick on and you take off. Um, I would stick with, they had a huge display and I almost, but then I remember having somebody or watching another video where somebody uh, said, don't do that. Go with the brand because, uh, they have experienced they come off but they take your wall off your paint your drywall finishes so i don't think they come off really good so just be careful if you're using those on a surface that might rip if it's like on a smooth plastic surface or a refrigerator or something that's not going to like pull something off that you can get it off easy enough i wouldn't see why you couldn't use it but um like on finishes that you'd be pulling paint or plaster or something off i would be careful not that I've experienced it, but I've heard, so I'm putting the cushion out there. Um, and then I saw this little guy, which I don't, just, I'm not a big gnome person, but he was just cute. Look at him. Merry Christmas. And I thought he would look cute on a wreath. Not that I don't have enough wreaths, but then I went over to the wreath department, the wreath department, the floral department, where they have the wreath forms. And I was looking for a round one. I found the round ones, but they're making them plastic now. And they seem really like they could break easy. So I'd be careful. And then I came across next to them, still metal. It is a square one. And I thought I have enough of the single, the garland that Dollar Tree sells from last year's, couple years pack, past rather. Um, where it's just that thin green garland and I thought I'd wrap it around this or wind it through here put him on it maybe put a bow or something and I just thought that would be kind of cool on the front door instead and then maybe uh, I don't know maybe center him off center him or something or right in the center because if I put it off to the side I'll have to put the uh, the hanger because he'll be going because of the weight so I just thought that would be kind of cool with a black and white check black and white buffalo ribbon, which I have. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Wouldn't that be? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, if I ever get this posted. And then, oh, yes. I'm having a mess over here. I'm trying not to get that glitter everywhere, but let me move him back over here because I have a couple other things. Oh, yes, when I went in, they have the oven bags and my husband always says don't why don't you get the oven bags get the oven bags and you won't have the mess to cook things in and chickens in the oven and stuff and I picked up some that were large but they were I think 16 by 17 or something and then I went around the side of that thing right in the front door they have like that four those shelves that four I don't know what they call display with four sides with shelves on them where you see dishes and stuff and they had um, the oven bags and then I turned around and I saw the turkey size and I thought that's what I'm going to get and it has two bags I think the other one might have had three or four but I wanted the large one in case we do a turkey I go with the large bag so hopefully this works just as well as the name brand uh, I'll maybe post you if I put a turkey in and it sticks to my turkey and I can't get it out of the bag I'll let you know um, and, and then I needed tissues, so I found my same old, same old tissue box. Scotty's. I like these. They're a good deal. Usually 160 Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. I have glitter. Sorry. Um, so, stocking up on those, and I was looking for these square boxes, and they didn't have any. Well, I can't say they didn't have any. They had a couple boxes that were um, crushed. So next time I'm looking for square tissue boxes because we have a little basket with a wood lid on it that you put the square ones in in the living room and it's kind of decorative. Um, 
And then I found, oh, if I can show you these, my um, tapestry placemats. And these are cool. I bought two of these. Can't try to do this without falling off my stool. And then two of these. And I thought I'd put them around the table alternating. Merry Christmas. And it's a little glittery in there, a little glitzy. Oh no, not this one. This one's not glitzy. This one's not glitzy, but it's very pretty with the red and green. This one is a little glitzy around the tree in the truck. I just thought this was pretty with the trucks. And I thought these would be coordinating. Four chairs around would be just opposite ones. Um, also, I have seen where people have taken these, or you could take one of each side and you can make um, pillows out of them, put them back to back. Uh, you can stitch it like inside out. I think I did that one time or some people hot glue it and then um, fill it. And then you have a reversible, I'm just, oh, well you get the other one, <clears throat> a different on the back. And then you'd have a reversible pillow that you can put on your couch or your chairs. <clears throat> or even <clears throat> if you wanted to, if you wanted to cut off the Merry Christmas at the bottom, you could have more of a neck size pillow if you have like, you wanted something like that. Or I could even see this. It might not be big enough, but eh, I was going to say make a roll, neck roll, but it might not be big enough. And I'm not sure how you'd close the ends of it unless you just put a running stitch with your, um, thread and needle and then pull it closed or some sort of thicker yarn run it through it and then pull it closed and tie it and then it'll be like pulled up at the end actually that sounds kind of cool um coming up with these things so yeah I thought those were kind of cool for a dollar 25 each because they are they're pretty thick they're nice and uh they're cute and I got them when I saw them because you know if you go back sometimes you don't see them so with that, I think I am done almost. I think I showed you everything I got, which was quite a bit, and I'm already at like 32 minutes. Um, and just that was my closest Dollar Tree, which is like 19 minutes away from me. Um, and they're building a new Family Dollar Dollar Tree, which is <laughs> right down the street from me. Um, so I might be getting on here more. I don't know, to show you things that you can find. Um, hopefully I, I should price these things to see and try to tell you whether things are a good deal or not. I think the bread might have been good. Sourdough bread for $1.25. I think that would be good. Um, but then some things are going to be good. If you get a big haul like this, some things are going to be a deal for $1.25 and some things maybe not so much. So if you buy a large haul like this, it probably balances it out. So, But if it's like the closest store that you have, you can get some cute things um and that's all i'm going to say and hopefully everybody stays happy has a uh, happy holidays if i don't see you um before the end of the year and that's it for now